Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, so we're gonna be unboxing a wireless portable microphone. We're gonna see how it is. The original price on this is about like $70, I believe, but I got a deal on it, which is really cool. Uh, so it was a lot cheaper. I'm not gonna say the price because it's like a once in a lifetime price. So this is right here, the black version. I guess they have the two versions. Uh, frequency response here, uh, 20 hour battery life, which is interesting. 10 meter without obstacles no 50 meters without obstacles and 10 meters with obstacles and then the specifications on the rest of it so let's go ahead and get into it straight away this one really interested me so i had to get it and hopefully it's pretty good quality i'm not going to expect too much even though i do have a wireless system already i just want to see how this compares right here we have the ultra portable mini wireless user manual pretty uh pretty interesting here and here's the device. So this is the lav, the receiver, transmitter. And uh, yeah, so you can charge this in here, which is really cool. This part goes to the camera. So let's go ahead and take it out. So as you can see, this part, pretty simple. This is the main unit for the camera or smartphone. You charge it here. You can put the audio cable through there. And then right here you have an on button. The indicators are on this side. I don't think it's fully charged. I don't see any indicators. I don't see any indicators, but we'll, we'll find out. And this is a little pod area. So you basically can use this right here and you can go ahead and charge it like so, which is really genius. Like look how much more portable it is and super lightweight. So I'm really, this is why I wanted it. It's pretty cool. Okay, now they have indicators. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. But yeah, they have indicators now. So let's go ahead and take this out. Pretty cool. Oh, Faux tree? Poetry? I don't know. Let's go ahead and see what else we have in the box. Some foam. Right here we have the accessories. It has cables for basically everything. And I believe that should be it on the bottom. Nothing? Yeah, there's nothing. All right, so this is everything you get in here. So you have a little clip here. Magnetic. So I think it goes on one of these ones. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yep. So this one you can just clip onto something. It might be able to fit in a camera or maybe a phone, not too sure. And then you have cables for it. So you have a USB type C to USB A cable. So you can use this for laptops and some other stuff. Right here, you have a type C to type C, or you can also use the type C to lightning and you can use that for mobile devices. This one works for Android. And then one of these are a TRS and a TRSS cable. So one's with the smartphone and one's for PC and cameras. Okay, so I think the three ring is for the phones and then the two ring is for like cameras and stuff. So yeah, it comes with basically everything. You have all the cables for that. Like I said, you have the little clip here. You can use that. That's a really pretty strong magnet, not gonna lie. Really cool. You can clip this like, and then this is the microphone. It already has a built-in uh, little clip here. So you can clip it to your shirt or whatever. And then right here you have the microphone itself right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's right here, so it has a little grill. Now this does has like static protection and some other stuff like that. All right, there we go. So this is really, really small. And if this works and sounds pretty decent, then that would be amazing. I don't see an indicator light though. I don't know how you're supposed to know when it's on or off, but it's interesting. The tr transmitter is huge. The receiver is really tiny. Like I'm gonna go and unclip mine. So this is mine. This is the Rode Wireless Go and the transmitter and receiver are the same exact size as this. And then this is that. So that microphone is super small. Okay, oh, it does have an indicator. It's on the microphone right here. I don't know if you saw that. But uh, yeah, it's in pairing mode now. So I guess we'll have to figure that out. And if it sounds good, then wow, I have a backup microphone. For whatever reason I need to do it. The only thing you can't do is obviously you can't put an external uh, lav mic like on the road. But I mean, heck, this is small in its own entirety. You shouldn't really see it on a shirt. And uh, it has really nice clips. As you can see, it'll definitely grab onto the shirt for sure. Test out the audio with our camera, maybe phone. Not too sure, we'll figure it out. All right, so in the user manual, it actually shows you about wireless functions basically. So if you long press, you can turn it on and off. If you click it, you can change the volume of the microphone. And if you click the receiver, it'll have a digital audio output with a green indicator and some more information, very helpful information here. And then also for the front page, the first page, it shows you all the cables on the first page on what they're used for basically. So you have a 3.5 TRS cable, a TRRS cable, which is for smartphones. 
it shows you that end is for smartphones. So if we use this cable, which it came with obviously, we can use this end for the smartphone and then this end for obviously the receiver. And then we can go ahead and clip it. So as you can see, get this end, just plug this part into the receiver and then plug the other end into the smartphone. If you have a adapter for whatever smartphone, you can do that. But for this, you can just plug it in for Google Pixel 3a because it does have the, obviously the, what you can do is you can clip this to the actual phone and then you have basically standing. That's pretty much how you could do it. It doesn't get in the way of the camera, as you can see. The camera's still visible. You can technically still uh, look at the device and the screen as well as the actual camera is really helpful and then we're gonna go ahead and pair it which we're gonna go ahead and get the actual microphone from here all right so we got the microphone here all right so we finished it obviously you can see you can see the screen now as you can see the camera is not being blocked off you can still use it perfectly and now we're gonna go ahead and like pair on the actual device itself so i'm pretty sure you just press it once and it should work we're gonna check the audio levels when we're recording as well so we're gonna get the device it's right here and then just long press until it turns on. The indicator should be right here. There we go, it is on. Should be good. So then when we record, it should say the audio levels. Okay, so I figured it out. You have to press the button on the back of the uh, transmitter and the receiver until they both flash or stay blue and then they'll be connected. Now we are connected. So we're gonna go ahead and just put that there for now. And as you can see, the microphone levels when talking into this microphone, I can actually see it. See, so this is working and it's operational. So we're gonna go to switch. All right, so I'm currently editing this video right now, but I wanted to do the audio test again because before I made it, it wasn't really that good. So we're just gonna do it again. And then right now it's at a blue light. And then another blue light. So you can change the audio levels just by clicking the button. There's like three lights and one is purple, which is like basically off or muted. And the middle one is the lowest, which I find the best. And then the other blue one, which you can't really help differentiate on, on like in real time, but it's uh, the loudest. And I don't really like that one because it's really, really loud. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so overall, I really do like it. I recommend pairing it with a tripod so you can actually have like a really good angle. Or you could pair it with one of those from Osmo. That's the Osmo Mobile 4. I recommend that as well. But this one's really cheap. So if you want a really low budget, but really, really helpful uh, setup for YouTube, you can use this and this for less than 100 bucks. You basically have your audio as well as your tripod ready. And then you're basically done you just need a lighting or you can get a or you can get one of those ring lights right there also really good those are like a little bit more expensive but not super expensive either way i really like this um wireless microphone i really like the charging capabilities um you basically really don't have to charge it all too much because it has a really good battery it's really easy to pair it does give you a pairing like sound which is really helpful this does have a shoe mount by the way it's like right in there, you can see. And you can just put that on cameras like this. How I have it on this one. You can put uh, the cable included. This one is the Rode Wireless Go. I put this cable right here. Um, and then you can obviously have the receiver going in this. And then you can uh, record audio and stuff like that. But for this, it sucks because I have to charge both of them separately. Um, I do love the quality of this one as well. This one just is perfect in every way. It's the best out of all of them. So if you want to spend $200 and definitely get one of these, these are the best wireless microphones to get on the market for cameras and for phones. So yeah, I highly recommend that as well. But low budget and still pretty good. This one definitely is doesn't break the bank and it's really, really good. So I'm glad I was able to find that. Apparently they have white, but I'm not too sure. I didn't see it, but um, let's just show you the specs again because on the camera, I believe it doesn't show up that well, but um, right here it should be showing up pretty good because I'm closer. So let's see how that works. 
you guys like this video make sure you comment um, down below if you're going to be starting a youtube channel or if you already have one wireless microphone is definitely really helpful so if you want to pick one up for yourself link is in the description i'll see you guys in the next one